As you say, Bell, both sides have been making positive noises over recent days going into these marathon talks today, which will last six hours. Quite a long meeting they've got ahead of them today in the negotiating room behind me here at the European Commission. Having said there have been positive noises, uh, Michel Barnier gave a meeting, uh, gave an interview rather, to a German uh, broadcaster yesterday, and he was saying that it was only right still that the bloc did prepare for a possible uh, no-deal scenario. And uh, he was saying again that the Irish border issue is a particularly sensitive point right now. We know that's been the case all along, but he's still saying that's the case as it stands today, this far down the line in the negotiations. But he was also asked by that German broadcaster whether a solution was possible on the uh, Irish border issue, and he said, well, I think it is possible. So he's giving, you know, one side he's saying, let's possibly prepare for a no-deal situation, but on the other he's saying, well, you know, we're making progress and we might reach this deal on the Irish border, which is a key sticking point right now. Dominic Rabb is already in town. Now, he was having a meeting last night uh, with Guy Verhofstadt, uh, the EU Parliament representative on Brexit. And uh, Guy was uh, tweeting overnight saying that he'd had a productive meeting uh, with Dominic Rabb. And uh, he was saying that he was in favour of a close association with Britain post-Brexit. But he said that it couldn't be at the cost of the EU's founding principles. And this is something Michel Barnier has been saying as well, because you'll remember in the past few days that Barnier was saying that the EU was standing by to offer an unprecedented close relationship with Britain after Brexit. But again, he was saying that it couldn't undermine the single market. Of course, the clock ticking, Damon. What happens if the two sides don't reach an, reach an agreement uh, before October, before that summit? Well, these talks are ongoing, as we were saying, and there's this informal uh, deadline that's coming up in October, just over a month away now, when EU leaders come together here in Brussels. They really want to have a deal in front of them so that they can ratify it as EU member states, and then the EU Parliament can ratify it as well. But we've heard of slippage over recent days. Uh, Michel Barnier was hinting here last week, after his latest meeting with uh, Dominic Raab, that it could move into November. And I was also seeing reports yesterday that there could now actually be a special Brexit summit in November. So things could be moving uh, later on uh, this year to finally kind of try and reach this deal. But at the end of the road, if they can't strike a deal, then boom, Britain would crash out in a very disorderly fashion. The fact is, Bell, I'm not in the meeting rooms here at the European Commission. I don't really know exactly what progress is being made. I'd love to be a fly on the wall. I think it'd be the hottest ticket in town, right?